I'm Dr. Stephen Beer. I'm a neurosurgeon I'm here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. I work at Wyoming Spine and Neurosurgery Associates. So we're here to talk about the sacroiliac joint. Symptoms that consist really of pain right at the SI joint. And the SI joint is really down in our low back. So it's very similar to low back pain. So the SI joint is the junction that holds our spine, you know, onto the lower half of our body or the, the legs and the pelvis itself. If you have low back pain, realize that pain could be coming from the SI joint. We now have new tools and new methods to treat SI joint pain. Having your back fused will put excess stress on the joint. But other things like falling down, lifting heavy things, repetitive motion type injuries, all of those kind of things can cause uh, injury to the SI joint and cause the SI joint to become painful. Um, in fact, 25% of patients with low back pain have pain that's actually coming from the SI joint. Well, the most common symptom with SI joint pain is really pain at the site, which is confused often with low back pain. Patients will describe pain um, just off to the side of their spine in the low back region. Conservative treatment options for the SI joint would be things like uh, medications, like non anti-inflammatory medications, physical therapy, and we can do injections into the SI joint, which work really well. The iFuse procedure is a minimally invasive technique in which we can place implants across the SI joint, immediately stabilize the joint and cause pain to go away within a very short period of time. The procedure that uh, we use to place the uh, SI bone implant involves making a small incision along the side of the buttock. Um, through the small incision, we um, uh, use instruments that are minimally invasive um, and they allow us to place uh, three small triangular implants across the joint um, which uh, then caused the joint to fuse. So there were many studies done, and all of the studies showed such excellent results that almost all the insurance companies now have adopted the procedure and allow us to do the procedure uh, for, for patients. With the iFuse procedure, the incision is very small. It's on the side of the buttock. There's very minimal pain associated with the operation. Um, there's pain in the butt for about 24 hours after the procedure, uh, sometimes a little bit longer than that. Patients are asked not to put weight on the side of this fuse. We have them use a walker for one month after the procedure. So after you've had your SI joint fused, you can go back to doing activities as normal. There's absolutely no limitations in your lifestyle or things that you have to look out for in the future. We'd love to have you come by so we can take a look at, at your problem and see if you might be a candidate for some of the new treatments available for these problems.